Have you heard of ChatGPT? It has been really popular lately. You can use it to come up with new game ideas, write articles, and even write code. Do you use it? What do you use it for? Let me know in the comments. We have also integrated ChatGPT's API into Gandhi IDE. This is a brand new extension, AI Hub. With this extension, you can create NPC in games that can chat with players. This is a demo I made. You can directly tap and communicate with the NPC in the game. In this video, let's take a look at what blocks are currently available in this extension and how to use them. If you want to be the first to know about everything related to Gandhi IDE, you can join our Discord server. We will post the latest update about the tool. Open Gandhi IDE, click on Extensions, find AI Hub under the Gandhi category, and click to install it. You will see a series of blocks here. The two most basic blocks in AI Hub are create an AI character and chat with AI character. When creating an AI character, you can set their personality, identity, and dialogue style. You can also give the character a name. After creating the character, you can chat with them by using their names. And the return value is the AI character's response. The other blocks, we divide them into four sections. The first section is global. These two blocks can be used to set some background information. The first one can be used to set a language of the chat. The default option is follow the chat, which means it will be determined based on the language used by the player. The second block can be used to set background of the game world. You can enter any text. For example, I can fill in in a high school here. Then, if I ask Marvin, where are we? His answer contains information that we are in a high school. The second section is related to AI characters. In addition to block used to create AI characters, you can also set a task for them. There are many preset options. This block can be used to set additional background information. Let's take an example. Set a task of the character to sell things to a player and set what items he has in the background information. Then, chat with Marvin. And he will try to sell things to me. The third section is used to set player's information. Similar to setting AI character's information, after setting it up, this information will affect the conversation between AI characters and you. The last section is used to handle chat messages. The first block can be used to recite a context information. When chatting with AI characters, they will remember the chat record and refer to the previous context to reply to you. Next is the chat block. In addition to the one used, there is another block that is non-blocking and can also be with an event ID. When the AI characters replies, the event block below will be triggered. The parameters in the block are the name of a replying AI character, the reply content, and the corresponding event ID. Compared with the reporter block, this block may be more complex to use, but it is more flexible. 
All right, those are all blocks currently available in AI Hub. We will continue to update this extension and look forward to seeing what you can create with it. If you can think of any other ways that AI technology can help you with your creative work, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and see you next time.